Hi, I'm Ron Thompson, sales manager with Alpha USA in Chicago, Illinois. We uh, at Alpha have been making deburring devices and bevelers in many different types and styles for over 30 years. And what we're going to show today is how easy it is to make a tool change out using our smaller units where we use end mill technology in order to do the cut. What we're going to do is we're going to insert this uh, six or eight millimeter end mill fine uh, or medium cutting uh, into our uh, KFK 150 unit, which bevels uh, basically up to uh, about five sixteenths of an inch by passing the unit over the material. Uh, it's very easy. All of the tools are included with the tool, and in order to remove the head from the collet, it's simply unscrewing this set screw, removing the head, it easily comes away from the collet because it's got a mirror, almost a mirror finish, but very fine, close tolerance uh, connection with the collet. The collet is basically a very fine collet also, very close tolerance, and we make it especially that way so that it will never fail in terms of rotation. All you do is insert your end mill into the collet, and you will find out that you can extend the life tremendously, uh, the cutting life and deburring life tremendously, by just moving the collet or moving the end mill. As you wear a part here, you'll see the wear. You will also begin to see kind of a dirtying surface on your, uh, your cutting or your deburring. And then all you do is move your end mill. You take, remove your head, remove your end mill out a little bit, tighten it up again, and you're ready to go with a new cutting surface. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten up that uh, end mill in the collet. And very simply, we'll be ready to go shortly. As I said, the wrenches are included with every single unit. We then install the head back onto the collet. It goes right on, and as you can see, there's the end mill in the well in the center of the unit. Then all we do is tighten up the head retaining screw, and we're ready to deburr.